Hello, welcome to Jesus for All 2, God's Word, Your Daily Bread, the Bible, <clears throat> for April 28th, 2023. Here, we will hear all of the Bible, by God's grace, by the end of December 2023, that is our goal, to increase our faith and to please the Heavenly Father. For the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 6 reads, But without faith it is impossible to please Him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And Romans 10.17 reads, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7 reads, For we walk by faith, not by sight, living our lives in a manner consistent with our confident belief in God's promises. The book of John, chapter 15, verse 3 reads, You are cleansed and pruned already because of the word which I have given you, the teachings I have discussed with you. Verse 4, Dwell in me, and I will dwell in you. Live in me, and I will live in you. Just as no branch can bear fruit of itself without abiding in being vitally united to the vine, neither can you bear fruit unless you abide in me. And verse 7, if you live in me, abide vitally united to me in my words, remain in you, and continue to live in your hearts, ask what you will, and it shall be done for you. Verse 8, when you bear produce much fruit, my Father is honored and glorified, and you show and prove yourselves to be my followers, to be true followers of mine. Amen. Hallelujah. And the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 30 reads, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. Hallelujah. And John 6, 63, it is the spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit, and they are life. And Zechariah 4, 1. So I uh, see... Oh. going to pass this. Verse 6, Then he said to me, This continuous supply of oil is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, prince of Judah, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, of whom the oil is a symbol, says the Lord of hosts. What are you, O great mountain of obstacles, before Zerubbabel, who will rebuild the temple? You will become a plain, insignificant, and he will bring out the capstone of the new temple with loud shouts of grace, grace to it. Amen. So it is by the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the living water, thou a helper, whom the Lord Jesus Christ has given us, that we have victory by his blood in the name of Jesus Christ. The words of life that we shall hear today, April 28th, are... Psalm 119, verse 33 through 64. The New Testament reading will be from the book of Luke, chapter 5, verse 1 through 39. And the Old Testament reading will be from the book of Joshua, chapter 23 through chapter 24, verse 33. All scriptures are taken from the New King James Version of the Bible, unless otherwise noted. Copyright 1982 by Thomas Nelson. Incorporated use by permission, all rights reserved. And there was a reading in the introduction today from the Amplified Classic Version of the Bible. I pray Jesus for all too is increasing your faith, giving you the knowledge of God's promises and the grace to walk in them. And I pray that you would share Jesus for all too with another and that you would subscribe. Hallelujah. And now, Psalm 119, beginning today at verse 33, and it reads, Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. Indeed, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me walk in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies, and not to covetousness. Turn away my eyes from looking at worthless things, and revive me in your way. Establish your word to your servant, who is devoted to fearing you. 
Turn away my reproach, which I dread, for your judgments are good. Behold, I long for your precepts. Revive me in your righteousness. Verse 41. Let your mercies come also to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your word. So shall I have an answer to him who reproaches me, for I trust in your word. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I have hoped in your ordinances. So shall I keep your law continually forever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek your precepts. I will speak of your testimonies also before kings, and will not be ashamed. 47. And I will delight myself in your commandments, which I love. My hands also I will lift up to your commandments, which I love, and I will meditate on your statutes. 49. Remember the word to your servant, upon which you have caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for your word has given me life. The proud have me in great derision, yet I do not turn aside from your law. I remembered your judgments of old, O Lord, and have comforted myself. Indignation has taken hold of me because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. 55. I remember your name in the night, O Lord, and I keep your law. This has become mine because I kept your precepts. You are my portion, O Lord, I have seen. I have said that I would keep your words. I entreated your favor with my whole heart. Be merciful to me according to your word. I thought about my ways and I turned my feet to your testimonies. 60. I made haste and did not delay to keep your commandments. The cords of the wicked have bound me, but I have not forgotten your law. At midnight I will rise to give thanks to you because of your righteous judgments. Verse 6, 3. I am a companion of all who fear you and of those who keep your precepts. Verse 64 and last for today. The earth, O Lord, is full of your mercy. Teach me your statutes. Amen. And this word is already blessed as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ is every hearer. And now the New Testament reading. Continuing in the book of Luke today with chapter 5. And it reads, So it was, as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God, that he stood by the lake of Nesaret, and saw two boats standing by the lake. But the fishermen had gone from them and were washing their nets. Three. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the multitudes from the boat. 4. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their net was breaking. 7. So they signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats, so that they began to sink. 8. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. And so also were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will catch men. 11. So when they had brought their boats to land, they forsook all and followed him. And it happened, verse 12, when he was in a certain city, that behold, a man who was full of leprosy saw Jesus, and he fell on his face and implored him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then he put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Immediately the leprosy left him. 14. And he charged him to tell no one, but go and show yourself to the priest, and make an offering for your cleansing as a testimony to them, just as Moses commanded. However, when the report went around concerning him, 
all the more and great multitudes came together to gather came together to hear and to be healed by him of their infirmities so he himself often withdrew in the wilderness and prayed verse 17 now it happened on a certain day as he was teaching that there were pharisees and teachers of the law sitting by who had come out of every town of galilee judea and jerusalem and the power of the lord was present to heal them then behold men brought on a bed a man who was paralyzed whom they sought to bring in and lay before him and when they could not find how they might bring him in because of the crowd they went up on the housetop and let him down with his bed through this tiling into the midst before jesus 20. when he saw their faith he said to him man your sins are forgiven you and the scribes and pharisees began to reason saying who is this who speaks blasphemies who can forgive sins but god alone 22 but when jesus perceived their thoughts he answered and said to them why are you reasoning in your hearts which is easier to say your sins are forgiven you or to say rise up and walk 24 but that you may know that the son of man has power on earth to forgive sins he said to the man who was paralyzed i say to you arise take up your bed and go to your house 25 immediately he rose up before them took up what he had been laying on and departed to his own house glorifying god and they were all amazed and they glorified god and were filled with fear saying we have seen strange things today 27 after these things he went out and saw a tax collector named levi sitting at the tax office and he said to him follow me Twenty-eight. So he left all, rose up, and followed him. Then Levi gave him a great feast in his own house, and there were a great number of tax collectors and others who sat down with them. And their scribes and the Pharisees complained against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered and said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners, to repentance. Then they said to him, Why do the disciples of John fast often and make prayers, and likewise those of the Pharisees, but yours eat and drink? And he said to them, Can you make the friends of the bridegroom fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them. Then they will fast in those days. Then he spoke a parable to them. No one puts a piece from a new garment on an old one, otherwise the new makes a tear, and also the piece that was taken out of the new one does not match the old. 37. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins, or else the new wine will burst the wineskins and be spilled, and the wineskins will be ruined. 38. But new wine must be put into new wineskins, and both are preserved. Verse 39 and last for today and no one having drunk old wine immediately desires new for he says the old is better amen and in the name of jesus christ this word is already blessed as we pray in the name of jesus christ are eat all the hearers including myself in jesus name and now the old testament reading Continuing today with the book of Joshua from chapter 23. And it reads, Now it came to pass, a long time after the Lord had given rest to Israel from all their enemies round about, that Joshua was old, advanced in age. And Joshua called for all Israel, for their elders, for their heads, for their judges, and for their officials for their officers, and said to them, I am old, advanced in age. You have seen all that the Lord your God has done to all these nations because of you. For the Lord your God is he who has fought for you. See, I have divided to you by lot these nations that remain to be an inheritance for your tribes from the Jordan. 
with all the nations that I have cut off as far as the great sea westward. And the Lord your God will expel them from before you and drive them out of your sight. So you shall possess their land as the Lord your God promised you. 6. Therefore be very courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, lest you turn aside from it to the right hand or to the left. 7. And lest you go among these nations, these two to, who remain among you. You shall not make mention of the name of their gods, nor cause anyone to swear by them. You shall not serve them, nor bow down to them. But you shall hold fast to the Lord your God, as you have done to this day. 9. For the Lord has driven out from before you great and strong nations. But as for you, no one has been able to stand against you to this day. One man of you shall chase a thousand, for the Lord your God is he who fights for you, as he promised you. Therefore, take careful heed to yourselves that you love the Lord your God. 12. Or else, if indeed you do not, you do go back and cling to the remnant of these nations, these that remain among you and make marriages with you and go into them and they to you, know for certain that the Lord your God will no longer drive out these nations from before you, but they shall be snares and traps to you and scourges on your sides and thorns in your eyes until you perish from this good land which the Lord your God has given you. Verse 14, Behold this day I am going the way of all the earth, and you know in all your hearts and in all your souls that not one thing has failed of all the good things which the Lord your God spoke concerning you. All have come to pass for you. Not one word of them has failed. 15. Therefore it shall come to pass that as all the good things have come upon you, which the Lord your God promised you, so the Lord will bring upon you all harmful things until he has destroyed you from this good land, which the Lord your God has given you. When you have transgressed the covenant of the Lord your God, which he commanded you, and have gone and served other gods, and bowed down to them. Then the anger of the Lord will burst against you, and you shall perish quickly from the good land which he has given you. Chapter 24 Then Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel to Shechem, and called for the elders of Israel from their heads, for their judges, and for their officers. And they presented themselves before God. And Joshua said to all the people, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Your fathers, including Terah, the father of Abraham, and the father of Nahor, dwelt on the other side of the river in old times, and they served other gods. Then I took your father Abraham from the other side of the river, led him throughout all the land of Canaan, and multiplied his descendants, and gave him Isaac. 4. To Isaac I gave Jacob and Esau. To Esau I gave the mountains of Seir to possess. But Jacob and his children went down to Egypt. 5. Also I sent Moses and Aaron, and I plagued Egypt according to what I did among them. Afterward I brought you out. 6. Then I brought your fathers out of Egypt, and you came to the sea. And the Egyptians pursued your fathers with chariots and horses to the Red Sea. 7. So they cried out to the Lord. And he put darkness between you and the Egyptians, brought the sea upon them, and covered them. And your eyes saw what I did in Egypt. Then you dwelt in the wilderness a long time. 8. And I brought you into the land of the Amorites, who dwelt on the other side of the Jordan. And they fought with you, but I gave them into your hand that you might possess their land. And I destroyed them from before you. Verse 9, Then Balak, the son of Zippor, king of Moab, arose to make war against Israel, and sent and called Balaam, the son of Beor, to curse you. But I would not listen to Balaam, therefore he continued to bless you. So I delivered you out of his hand. 11, Then you went over the Jordan and came to Jericho, and the men of Jericho fought against you, also the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Canaanites, the Hittites, and the Gergesites, the Hevites, and the Jebusites, but I delivered them into your hand. 12. I sent the hornet, excuse me, before you, which drove them out from before you, from before you. Also the two kings of the Amorites, but not with your sword or with your bow. I have given you a land for which you did not labor, 
and cities which you did not build, and you dwell in them. You eat of the vineyards and olive groves, which you did not plant. Verse 14. Now therefore, fear the Lord, serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the river and in Egypt. Serve the Lord. And if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, choose for yourselves today whom you will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the river or the gods of the Amorites whose land, in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Verse 16. So the people answered and said, Far be it from us that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. 17. For the Lord our God is he who brought us and our fathers up out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, who did those great signs in our sight, and preserved us in all the way that we went, and among all the people through whom we passed. 18. And the Lord drove out from before us all the people, including the Amorites, who dwelt in the land. We also will serve the Lord, for he is our God. 19. But Joshua said to the people, You cannot serve the Lord, for he is a holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your transgressions nor your sins. If you forsake the Lord and serve foreign gods, then he will turn and do you harm and consume you after he has done you good. 21. And the people said to Joshua, No, but we will serve the Lord. 22. So Joshua said to the people, You are witnesses against yourselves that you have chosen the Lord for yourselves to serve him. And they said, We are witnesses. 23. Now therefore, he said, Put away the foreign gods which are among you, and incline your heart to the Lord God of Israel. And the people said to Joshua, The Lord our God, he will serve, we will serve, and his voice we will obey. 25. So Joshua made a covenant with the people that day, and made for them a statute and an ordinance in Shechem. 26. Then Joshua wrote these words in the book of the law of God, and he took a large stone and set it there under the oak that was by the sanctuary of the Lord. And Joshua said to all the people, Behold, this stone shall be a witness to us, for it has heard all the words of the Lord which he spoke to us. It shall therefore be a witness to you, lest you deny your God. 28. So Joshua let the people depart, each to his own inheritance. 29. Now it came to pass after these things that Joshua the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died, being one hundred and ten years old. And they buried him within the border of his inheritance at Timnath, Sarah, which is the mountains of Ephraim on the north side of Mount Gosh. Verse 31. Israel served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders who outlived Joshua who had known all the works of the Lord, which he had done for Israel. Verse 32. The bones of Joshua, which the children of Israel had brought up out of Egypt, they buried. Let me take that again. Verse 32. The bones of Joseph, which the children of Israel had brought up out of Egypt, they buried at Shechem in the plot of ground, which Jacob had bought from the sons of Hamor, the father of Shechem, for 100 pieces of silver and which he had become and which had become an inheritance of the children of Joseph verse 33 and last and Eliezer the son of Aaron died they buried him in a hill belonging to Phineas his son which was given to him in the mountains of Ephraim amen and in the name of Jesus Christ this word is already blessed as we pray in Jesus name is every hero. And now, Psalm 52, and it reads, Why do you boast in evil, O mighty man? The goodness of God endures continually. Your tongue devises destruction like a sharp razor working deceitfully. You love evil more than goods, lying rather than speaking righteousness. Selah. You love all devouring words, you deceitful tongue. Verse 5, God shall likewise destroy you forever. He shall take you away and pluck you out of your dwelling place and uproot you from the land of the living, Selah. The righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him, saying, verse 7, 
Here is the man who did not make God his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches and, dis and straightened himself in his wickedness. Verse 8, But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will praise you forever because you have done it. And in the presence of your saints, I will wait on your name, for it is good. Amen. And the word is already blessed, as I pray is every hearer in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I boast in your goodness, O Lord, continually in Jesus' name. My tongue, in the name of Jesus Christ, constructs and works righteousness. I love goodness. I love good and speaking righteousness. My tongue speaks life and trustworthy words. God will make me to live forever because of the blood of his holy son, Jesus. Hallelujah. He will establish me in my dwelling place in the land of the living and in eternity after. Hallelujah. He will not uproot me in the name of Jesus Christ. I am the man in the name of Jesus Christ who makes you, O Lord, my strength. For it is not by might, but by your spirit. I trust in the abundance of your fruitfulness and multiplication in the name of Jesus Christ, because you are my shepherd and you said that I will not lack, and I believe you. I strengthen myself in your righteousness, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, O Lord, for making me like a green olive tree in your house, O Lord. I trust in your mercy, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, forever and ever. I come before you, Father, and confess my transgressions, anything I have entered into that did not bring you glory, that violated your precepts. I ask forgiveness by the blood of your Holy Son, Jesus. I ask that you cleanse me and lead me away from every temptation to enter into fleshly behaviors that bring you not glory. Thank you, Father, for having mercy on me. And thank you, I will praise you forever because you have done it. And in the presence of your saints, I wait on your name, for it is good. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. And the book of Psalm 107, verse 20 reads, He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from all and delivered them from their delivered them from their destructions amen and in the mighty name of jesus christ this word is already blessed amen amen and amen